Okay, class, I've pulled together this, um, this experiment because I'm doing something with acid and I don't know any place in the studio where I can do this safely, so I'm doing it in my backyard. I've got three samples laid out. If you look, that is, that is the exterior, what is thought to be the original exterior stucco from the, the house on the Burnham Block. The second one is a Kearney and Trekker original mortar removed from the interior. And the third one is the same mortar from Kearney and Trekker, but it's been removed from the outside. So you can see that I've got these samples inside. And this is muriatic acid. You can see that that's fizzing. This one is fizzing maybe not quite as much. I'm going to put the final one in. By the way, there was a fourth test, but I did it yesterday. And that is this one here. This is the original stucco from the, uh, from the Burnham block. And you can see at the bottom that the samples are still in place which would indicate to me that those are, um, that that's a, that's a cement mortar. Um, I'm sorry, a cement or a gypsum plaster. Okay, I also have a sample of what I think is the original, um, the original putty, glazer's putty, that was at the Kearney and Trucker building and if it's the original glazer's putty and it's made out of calcium carbonate which is lime and linseed oil so why don't we try a test on that one as well okay so I put it in I'm going to add this and it's fizzing as well Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's see how we did. This is the exterior stucco sample from the from Burnham. And it has been com entirely consumed, so that's a lime base. The Kearney and Trekker original mortar from the interior. That's also completely consumed so that must be lime based this is odd because this is a sample that was removed from the exterior and you can see that it's still there it's been partially consumed but that would lead me to believe see it's still fizzing a little bit could be that it was just a large piece but um that may not be lime based and then of course there's the glazer's putty that's been soaking for about five minutes and it's like entirely gone i don't even know what that stuff is floating on the top side i don't want to stick my fingers in it but i will after i wash the um, wash the muriatic acid away and then we'll take a look at it okay Finish our experiment. Here's the residue that's left over. This is from Burnham. You can see that there's nothing left but the aggregate. So that was a lime based exterior stucco. This is the original mortar from the interior of the Kearney and Trekker building. And again, there's nothing left but the uh, but the aggregate. And of course, if we wanted to examine the aggregate, we could look at it under a microscope. It could also be, um, it also be filtered to find out if the aggregate sizes, but we're not gonna do that. And here's the one that was removed from the exterior. And you can see that it partially came apart, but the, that guy's still pretty solid. So I don't think, this was probably not original mortar. This could have been an early repair 
you know, um, lime mortars kind of went out of fashion, like the first, in Chicago it was faster, but you know, like the first decade of the 20th century. So um, the use of lime mortar at the Kearney and Trekker building would have been uh, very late in the game. Finally, this is what's left of the, of the glazer's putty. And this stuff, th these residues, they sank to the bottom. This stuff came to the top. And I think that basically what's left is that putty was odd. It was red color and for some reason had a pigment in it. And I think that what we're seeing is the pigment. But this is not really a solid. It's kind of like a, like a foam. I had to actually scrape this. The, the, the residue was easy because I just, I just rinsed out the muriatic acid and washed it until there was water with this. I had to pick it off the top because, uh, because otherwise I would have lost it. So anyway, that's what I found out from these samples.